All right, let's learn how to prepare the listing paperwork. And this is going to be the documentation between a seller and owner and the brokerage. So whether they're selling their house or whether they're listing their home for rent, this is the paperwork we're going to use. You need to log on to two sites, and I'm going to kind of fly here and go quickly. There's a lot to cover. You want to log on to MRIS and Matrix, and you want to log on to Agent Anywhere. So watch the videos if you need to learn how to do that. I'm on the Agent Anywhere dashboard here, and I want you to come down and click click a contracts express that's going to open you up to a screen that's going to let you choose forms from different jurisdictions and I want you to click Virginia forms this always takes a little while to load so while I load that up I'm going to come up here to matrix and in matrix I'm in the matrix section of the MRIS website and the tabs here along the top a lot of times we use search in this case we're going to use tax and I've highlighted the county where the property is located and then I've come down here to street number and street name and I've put in the house number and I've put in the street name to find the property and then I'm gonna click search it's brought back one result I identify that is the correct property that is the correct owner so I'm glad about that I'm gonna highlight that and click print report and then on my print options I'm gonna click tax dash full that's the one that I want and then I'm gonna click generate down here and that's gonna generate the form for me and that's gonna give me a copy of the tax record and almost everything I need to prepare this listing agreement is gonna be pulled out of this tax record so it's gonna be an important document at this point I'm gonna click save and save it to the clients file on my hard drive and then I'm also gonna keep it open because I can clip and paste out of it into the listing agreement let's go back to agent anywhere you can see our forms have uploaded at this point if it's a sale listing you want to type just number four listing you want to highlight that button if it's a rental listing you want to do number five in this case it's a sale listing so I'm gonna click OK I've highlighted next to listings and it gives me a list of documents to select from in every case I want one two three and four and in some cases I might also want seven and eight and let me tell you when you would want seven and eight come back here to the tax record go about halfway down the page and you'll see property description if it says year built and it's 1978 or earlier you're gonna want those lead based paint uh, forms as well in this case my house was not built prior to 1978 so I do not need the lead based paint disclosure sales or lead based paint disclosure regs I only need one two three and four so I'm gonna highlight those go down to the bottom here and put input data uh, on the input data screen I'm gonna click edit at the very top one in this case it's the general information screen to the right of number one there's edit I'm gonna click that and it takes me to a data input screen at this point you just want to start plugging in information you're gonna access this tax record up at the top you'll see that the name of the owner is there you can highlight that actually right click copy come over right click paste and it's there so go through that tax record and pull everything out that you need. Tab through these fields, fill as much as you possibly can in. The legal description is here, the lot numbers. Um, down a little bit further, you'll see you're going to be asked for um, deeds and libraries and folios. You can find all that right here. You can clip it and paste it directly into the document. So very helpful uh, to be able to just quickly access and put the information in. You're not going to have all the information, but you'll get a lot of it out of that tax record. So if you don't know the information, um, or if it's not present in the tax record, if that field is blank, just put NA. When you're done with this, put next. And again, go down through here. You're not going to know all of this stuff, but fill in as much as you know. And then you're going to get to the actual sort of boilerplate of the listing agreement. Come down through here. Term of the agreement is always going to be six months from the day's date. Um, and then to the end of the month. So whatever six days from today is, and then go to the end of the month. So if it's the 20th of the month, go to six days, six months from now, six months from now, and then to the end of whatever month is there. Coming down here, there's a couple little things that I need you to absolutely fill in. Um, let's see here. Broker's compensation. Um, under sub agency, buyer agency, and non agency, sub agency is zero, buyer agency is three, not agency, non agency is uh, zero. Um, and some of this stuff, again, that you can leave blank if you don't know the answers to it. Once you're finished with all that, you click next and click build document. Once it's built your document, it's going to give you this PDF link. You click on that link and it will take you to a copy of a PDF of your forms. Please go through, verify that everything is correct, and thank you very much.